Hello, my friend. In this video, we're going to talk about how you can optimize your description for your YouTube videos. And be sure you stick around because I'm going to show you some of my favorite tools so that you can get higher rankings on YouTube. Let's jump in. Hello, my friend. My name is Terry Petrovic. Uh, if you've been uh, a subscriber on my channel for a while, you know I talk a lot about tactical things that you can do to grow your YouTube presence. And if you're new to our channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button right now so you can be plugged in and you can learn and grow your channel. It doesn't matter what kind of business you have, whether it's a brick and mortar business where you're trying to leverage YouTube to attract new clients, or you just want to build a, a, an amazing YouTube channel to express your brand. So on YouTube, there's a couple of key things. You know, we've talked before about the importance of thumbnails and titles and tags. Uh, well, today we're talking about description. So a couple of key things here I want you to pay a specific attention to. So these first two lines right here are really, really important because they allow you to uh, speak specifically to your ideal viewer. Um, so the real estate that you have here in terms of the words that you can put here are super important. So you want to have your thumbnail, uh, that's going to be a descriptor, uh, of your video and you want it to be, you know, uh, very eye catching. You want to have your description of your title. Um, you want those words to be a little bit different, but when it comes to the description of your video, you want to talk to the person, humanize it, personalize it, if you will. Uh, you can see right here, are you tired of potential uh, clients scrolling past your business? If somebody is a business owner uh, and they want more clients, that verbiage is going to capture their attention. Uh, and then you'll also notice that one of the first things I do here is I uh, show a link to basically my website. So again, in terms of your prime real estate, when you start typing out your YouTube description, get people's attention. Again, focus on the viewer, the real person, uh, and then be sure you um, put and insert the uh, links, if you will, if you have a sales funnel, a giveaway, or a landing page uh, in that first um, you know, line, if you can, if possible. Uh, and then also, you'll see here, uh, I've got a little flame and it's been proven that if you add little emojis in your description, that helps, keeps people's attention more. Um, this is a bonus tip to get people to stick around to the end of this video. Uh, and that's really what you want to do. If you want more views, if you want more subscribers, it's all about watch time on YouTube. So again, the number one thing you need to do is you need to know who your audience is. And then number two is you need to give them content that keeps them on your video and more importantly, keep some on your channel. The more you do that, the more YouTube love uh, you're gonna get. Uh, you'll also see here as we scroll down a little bit, uh, this little uh, YouTube icon. Well, this actually is another video that I'm suggesting my viewers watch. So you just take the uh, link at the top of the page, uh, which would be right here, and you can add it into your description. Uh, that's, again, um, going to encourage people to watch more of your content on YouTube. Now, right below that, uh, I have what's called a table of contents. And this is actually indexed uh, by the YouTube algorithm so that people can click on uh, any of these uh, timestamps here and it jumps, if you will, to that section uh, of the video. So they don't have to watch the whole thing. They can kind of scan and they go boom, boom, and they just jump around wherever they want. Again, it's all about the user experience. So when you create content, uh, make sure you're thinking about, okay, what's most important uh, to my viewer and make it easy for them to find them. And then below that, uh, you'll see um, I'm giving them another video to watch. Uh, again, you want to keep people on your channel. And then below that, this is a playlist I have. Uh, you want to, again, organize your catalog of videos in a way where people will stay on your channel. So uh, this is all about, these are five videos that I have that are designed for uh, the brand new YouTuber. It talks about how to set up your channel, how to set up defaults, how to, how to get free music, um, how to record yourself, 
all the essentials that somebody who's relatively new to YouTube uh, who wants to, you know, jump in, hey, the water's fine. <laughs> uh, so jump in, but they can actually get started and I'm giving them just tons of content. So again, playlist gives you the ability to do that. And then you'll see here, uh, I also ask them to subscribe. A big mistake people make uh, when they're first starting out on YouTube or even after they've been around for a while is they never ask people to subscribe. Uh, people need to be led. So, hey, if you're getting value out of this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button now. If you're just reading that description, go ahead and hit that subscribe button now. And there is a place right here on your video uh, where you can actually uh, have the choice of um, having people subscribe or you can put a fancy little icon. Uh, I've tested both things. I've had my fancy little icon there and when I have the word subscribe there, uh, I get more subscribers and this is my fourth YouTube channel that I'm building out here This one's relatively new. So I don't know when you're watching it But again, be sure you make it easy for people to subscribe to your channel and encourage them to do so encourage them to like uh, and uh, Comment on anything that you have so all of this text right here is in my default section you can refer to another video on how to set that up. I'll put it uh, at the top here. You can click that and you can watch that video if you want. But again, when you when you do these things, the whole goal of what you're doing is you're making it easy for the viewer to get value from your videos. These chapters right here, uh, they correlate to these timestamps up here. So hopefully you got value out of this video. If you have any questions at all about anything that I've talked about here, please leave those comments below. I'm super uh, uh, attentive to my channel here. I want to support you. Uh, I would love to be able to help you grow your presence, whether it be online or offline from a marketing standpoint. Now, before we wrap this video up, I want to share with you two of my favorite tools. So we've been talking about um, creating a compelling YouTube description uh, or there's two tools that'll, that I use every single day that allow me to um, optimize uh, my video for search uh, and for viewer count. One of them is called TubeBuddy. Uh, I'll put a link down in the description below. You'll see that. But here's uh, a great example of uh, some keywords that I'm looking for for creating client testimonial videos. Uh, if you're a business owner uh, and you want more of your ideal client, the number one sales tool you could ever create, which is evergreen, meaning it lasts forever, are client testimonial videos. Real people sharing real stories. So if I'm looking to rank for this, and you can see here's my video right here, TubeBuddy actually tells me that I have an excellent chance uh, of ranking for that keyword. The volume, search volume is uh, pretty good uh, and there's very, very low competition. The other one I use, and here's actually keyword recommendations uh, that they recommend, is vidIQ. vidIQ is saying the same thing and anytime you have a score that's in the green here, that means uh, you're probably going to be in like the top five when you optimize your video for that. So TubeBuddy and vidIQ are amazing tools. Again, uh, volume is pretty good here. Very low competition, meaning it gives me low hanging fruit and chances of me ranking is pretty good. And again, gives me keywords that I need to be focused in on if I want to rank for that video. So hopefully that helps. Again, if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe. If you have a choice, make it a better than terrific day and a prosperous one because you, yes, you absolutely deserve it. And be sure you watch this next video here. I think you're going to love it.